In the idea of self-sacrifice, there is a famous Hasidic story told. It's told in the book of Hasidic stories by Eli Wiesel, where he writes about this particular town, which has a strange Jew living there. And this fellow, he was sort of isolated from the community. And all he did from morning, afternoon, and night outside of work is he would eat. And he would eat, and he would eat, and he became grossly obese. And this is what he did. He was an oddball. Finally, they were able to get some conversation out of him. And they said to him, why is it that you're eating and eating and eating? What's going on? So finally, they got him talking. This is an Eli Wiesel Hasidic story. And he says, let me explain it to you. He says, when I was a very young boy, he says, my father was a very God-fearing man. And then they came and they took my father. My father was a thin, emaciated, weak Jew. And uh, they took him and they burned him and they killed him because he was Jewish. They tied him to some burning wood and he died. He was so weak and he was so emaciated, he died quickly. He said, and I made up my mind from that moment that if they ever come to get me, I won't go quickly. He says, and I ate, and I ate, and I ate, so that when they come to get me, and I have to give my life for Hashem, it's not going to be easy. I'm going to burn and burn and burn. In his simplistic way, this was his way of avenging his father's death. Eli Wiesel brings out the idea that the simplest Jew connects to Hashem, even though his entire spectrum and, 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 and perspective was one of the death of his father on Mesir Nefesh. This idea is something which doesn't necessarily depend, or perhaps necessarily does not depend on understanding and wisdom, but transcends understanding and wisdom. It's not the Bina that brings Mesir Nefesh. It's the spark of Chachma that enables self-sacrifice. End of today's Tanya Porsche.